Hello, and welcome to another video of Microsoft Teams. Uh, this uh, view is from the student view. Um, after a teacher assign makes an assignment, assigns it to the students, um, then uh, most most of the time you want to know what that view looks like on a, a student view. So what I did was I um, logged in as a student, Seth Hoover, here, and he is in English 11, period 1, term, all year term, in his assignment. So his assignment was uh, a writing assignment. So what the student will do, either log in as Office 365 or they can log into the desktop application. Here in this situation, as a student, I'm logged into the desktop application. All of the student computers that are one-to-one -one will have the desktop application um, installed on the machine. So um, they will have that opportunity to do both. So in this example, I'm using the desktop application of Seth Hoover. So when Seth would uh, go into his Microsoft Teams, he would click Teams or he could click Assignments. So when he logs in, he can click Assignments and he will view his assignments that are coming up. Now, uh, Microsoft is working on a way to make this user friendly to see what the assignments are, but there are arrows on both sides for now um, that they can scroll over to find out what their assignment is. So there it is. This assignment is due August 24th, and that's writing assignment dangling modifiers. And what the student will do, will just click into the assignment, and here they will have uh, an area where they're going to be reading. Um, it's it's a very um, open, so you can it's easy to read and understand. Reading uh, this one is the writing assignments dangling modifiers is the title. Instructions, the instructions for the student. Here are reference materials. Well, here we don't have any reference materials. And underneath that, there is my work. So this is what uh, the teacher would put in, uh, for example, a worksheet. They would put in um, the dangling modifiers worksheet. All the student would do uh, would to go start their assignment would just simply click the, the uh, work and start working. Now this is for each, each student. So any worksheets that were assigned in class each student will get a worksheet, their own individual worksheet. Um, so that's a good thing. Now here they can add work if they wanted to. If they needed to add additional work to this assignment, they can also do that um, by clicking add and then they can use get their OneDrive and then they can upload from their computer. Um, there are other features that Microsoft will be coming out with in the future. Uh, that the student will be allowed to create uh, Word documents, PowerPoints, Excels, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. On the right, you will see when the due date is, and this has no points for right now. Um, so let's start to work. So in the student view again, we're in the student view. We will click. The student will click on the assignment, and then their worksheet will come up. Now, if you notice that. Um, it is ready to be edited. Instantly, as soon as they click it, they can start editing the document and start working. And they do not need to, uh, to just go to File, Save As, or File, Save. It automatically saves their work, okay? All right, now, let's start working. So we're gonna do the worksheet. I'm gonna put student name from student and this is um, Seth Hoover, okay? And the date and the period. Okay, now we're going to uh, read the instructions from the worksheet what the teacher gave, um, um, and, then, and then they start working. So, a sentence modifier, see, they can do anything inside this what they want. It's, it would be a full version of Word. This is Word Online. Um, they have all these menus 
as Word would be uh, for you to start the project and start the writing assignment. So let's say I'm just going to do an example just to know that um, the teacher can see Seth's work. So I'm just going to put from a student work Seth Hoover. Okay, so Seth can just write, say you want it bold. Um, if you want a different color, um, you want to change the font color, the size, you can underline it. Uh, we can change different things here. Uh, let's make that green. Okay. Oh, we need to insert a picture into this. Oh, let's insert, insert a picture. Insert a picture. Now, inside this, you can have online pictures. You can use the um, picture from, if you had a picture in OneDrive, you could use that. This is from the student view. If you want to create a link, a comment, a header, all the functionalities you have in Word will be in Word Online here, and it is automatically saved. Um, you also have the ability to edit in Word if you'd like to, and it would also save into the assignment automatically. Okay, so we're here. It says insert a picture, so I'm going to go to online picture. So what I like about this is that the student doesn't need to go and open up a browser, go to Google, go to this, go to that to search for pictures. It's all inline imaging. So they don't have to go to another page. It's all in one area here. So we click here, insert an online picture. Um, I'm just going to do, we love class students. Okay. And, um, and then you click the, the picture and then you scroll down and you insert. Okay. So they insert the picture and inside here, you can actually edit the picture. Look at that. Nice and neat. So make it doesn't make it uh, so much. You can um, move it down here. All right. Let's see if we can move this. Move it up a little bit. Okay. All right. Let's change it. All right. Good. So there you go. This is this picture is from Seth Hoover. Okay. As you can see, it's saving, 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 and it automatically saves for that student. And you notice that the worksheet is Dangling Modifier's worksheet, okay? So whenever you as a teacher will look at this, you will see Dangling Modifier's worksheet, for example. Now, after the student is done, as you notice in Classroom, there was a turn in. You don't need to. It automatically saves and it automatically goes into the teacher teacher's uh, review for for student work so you don't need to turn it in and turn back in and turn it in and turn it in it's this this is a nice way to for students and teachers to uh, communicate back and forth without clicking a lot of buttons that make it confusing for people so after we're done with that after the students done all they need to do is click um, uh, close and that's it now if you notice that there is a turn in button this button okay for students doesn't need to be clicked until they are completely completely done with their assignment again whenever um, they turn in assignment they do not need to click the turn in button until it is completely done that way um, there is an opportunity to turn it back in but I would suggest do not turn the student does not turn it in until the very very end okay so given that that is how a that's a student view of a basic assignment from a teacher thank you for watching the video